Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. When Microsoft rolled out Edge version 102, which is the previous release, currently we are on the latest release, version 103, but with version 102, they introduced a new feature called disk cache compression, which in a nutshell basically helps reduce the storage and improves the uh, performance of Edge on your device at the same time. Now, in case you are unaware what disk uh, caching is and is all about, According to Microsoft, in a recent blog post they uploaded uh, recently and posted recently, they say that disk caching is used by browsers to store resources fetched from the web so that they can be accessed quickly and later if needed. The larger the size of the cache, obviously the larger the likelihood that the resource being requested can be fetched from the disk, which is often faster than fetching the same resource from the network. So the long and the short of all that is basically uh, is... Um, the data from the websites and web pages that you have visited previously is stored locally on your device uh, using the cache, which just means it makes it a lot quicker to navigate uh, between uh, different sites and web pages you have visited uh, in the Edge browser as that data is, sto is stored locally on your device uh, instead of um, online and in the cloud. Now, although um, the disk cache can improve the performance of your browser, as mentioned and um, one negative um, side effect of the cache though is over time uh, it can increase in size so it can take up unnecessary disk space and um, that's especially if you are using a low disk storage and uh, a device with low disk space so that's where the compression side of things comes in and that's why microsoft say they have um started uh, introducing the uh, disk cache compression in Edge version 102. And if we head to that post, disk caching in Microsoft Edge, which was posted and published on the 27th of July, the reason for all this, uh, Microsoft says, is their goal is to make Microsoft Edge the best performing browser possible um, on Windows and other platforms. So that's why Microsoft say they have introduced the disk cache compression in Microsoft Edge. Now, if we just head down to the final two paragraphs of this post which I'll, I will leave a link to in the description as it will just give you some more information if you are interested and um, the reason uh, for the compression is this and they go on to say one way we can maximize cache usage while minimizing disk usage is by leveraging compression to save disk, disk space for the cached content since the con contents in these caches are often highly compressible compression results in increasing the likelihood that the requested resource can be fetched from the disk and then as mentioned they say that starting with microsoft edge 102 which is the previous uh, release as mentioned we are currently on 103 but with microsoft edge 102 they say that microsoft edge will automatically compress disk caches on devices that meet the relevant checks to ensure the compression will be beneficial without degrading performance and this ensures compression of these caches largely improves performance and overall user experience so that's according to microsoft while they have introduced and rolled out the disk cache compression in microsoft edge version 102 just making that uh, the navigation and the performance of the browser a lot more snappy and quicker according to microsoft so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.